Okay, everybody. So as you can see, we're in Tinkercad. And if you don't know where to find that, tinkercad.com. And that will actually uh, lead you to Autodesk because Autodesk acquired Tinkercad. And that's where you can sign up for a free account if you don't have one. And Tinkercad is free as well. And it's also very easy to use. So there's that, right? Okay, so we want to create a, a rope bowl, I think it's called, right? Bowl, vase, vase, whatever you want to call it. A pen holder, a cup, you know, you get the idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the right where it says basic shapes. We're going to click on that and we're going to change that to shape generators. We'll give it a second. And there they are. And then we're going to click on the loop-de-loop -loop thingy and we're going to type in twist. And as we do so, we get this guy in the middle here. That's what we want. Twisty ring. And then we're going to click on the grid somewhere, right? Now, when I say somewhere, I'm in the top view right here. But if I right click and move this around, you can see there it is. Now, I want to uh, tweak a couple of settings here. First of all, the string thickness. I'm going to set that to two. And that should remain two. Uh, all the time. Inner diameter, I'm going to set that to 20. Now the circumferential fiber count, set that to 5 and the number of twists, set that to 5 as well. So I think this looks pretty good. Now what I need to do next is I need to create a bunch of these, but for the bottom I need different diameters, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my top view, I'm going to click on this guy and I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate, right? Then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to move it over and of course i want to tweak a couple of things now if i look at this guy right i got an inner diameter of 20. now i'm on this one what i want here is an inner diameter of 18. and that made it a bit smaller right cool so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy and hit Control d and we're going to move it down and we're going to repeat that process, but now it's going to be 16. And we're going to keep on going. So how do we center all these? We're going to drag select all of them. We're going to go up to this tool right here, the alignment tool. We're going to click on the circle right here. We're going to click on the circle right there. So now we have our entire base, right? And it all has the same height, which is kind of important. Okay, what's next? Well, we want the sides to go upwards, right? So we're going to click on the one on the outer, um, the, the biggest one on the outside. We're going to hit Control D again. We'll hit W not W. I continuously think that I'm working in Maya, which is not the case, right? So we're going to move this guy right here. There you go. So now when I hit Control D again, I can add one up here. And now I want to go and look at it from the side view. Let's hit F to frame. And if I hit Control D again, I should be able to stack, right? So we can go in here and we can look at uh, something that will hold our pens, for example, right? Now, of course, you can shape this by, for example, uh, selecting individual sections like this and changing the diameter, right? Or you could even go in here and make it a funky shape by doing something like this and make it look more organic, right? I mean, it's hard to see here, but you can do that and make it more oval shaped. Okay, so we got all this selected. These are all individual elements right now. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go up here to group or hit Control G. All right, so now it's one object, okay? Now, there's something going on here, not sure what, but it should be fine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our object and we're going to export it. Okay, so it's selected. We're going to click on export. And what I want is to export it as an STL. So it's ready for 3D print. It's preparing the model.
And keep in mind, this is all um, cloud-based, so it's online. So we'll give this a second. Alrighty, so as you can see, I loaded up the model in Bamboo Studio. And what we do next is fix the size. Well, not fix the size, but choose the size, right? So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go to view. I want to look at the top view. And I'm also going to go to view and set this to orthogonal, which I would say is orthographic, but nevertheless. And uh, that's already set, so that's good. And then this guy is set right now to two, about two and a half centimeters, which is quite small. So I'm going to go and scale that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Click on scale and I'm going to drag and let's see, I want this to be, uh, let's see, maybe something like this, right? That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 10 centimeters, that's about three inches, I would say. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to go for, right? So if we have a look, now let's go back to perspective view because I really hate that orthogonal view, yeah? So this is our object right now. So yeah, uh, what's left is to uh, slice the plate and then hit print. That's all there's to it. So uh, I'm not gonna print this one. Reason being that I had got an idea while I was modeling this and uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a surprise, but in one of the next videos, I'm gonna do a full tutorial on how to make that uh, object. It will be an object, it will be one uh, that's a lot of fun to have around during uh, parties, you know, spring break, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, you'll have to wait and see when it comes out, right? Anyway, uh, hopefully the Tinker CAD thing was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments and I'd love to see you guys again in the next video. Bye.